Tom here from Warren Systems and TrueNAS Core Release Candidate 1. I would say is ready for deployment. Now, this is as long as you're an enthusiast like I am, and well, I've been doing it since beta, but maybe if you're not quite the beta enthusiast, but a release candidate enthusiast, it's a pretty solid product. We've been using it for a while and not had any problems. Of course, the release candidate's only a couple days old, so I say a while. I loaded it the day it came out, but we were testing the betas, and I can't really say I suffered through them. They were actually very stable. Their whole release has been great. Then TrueNAS Core is representation of the merger of FreeNAS and TrueNAS. I've talked about this before. They're moving to a single code base, but don't worry, it's still free. It's still open source to fight despite what someone's gonna really argue with me about in the comments, trying to explain how it doesn't feel open source or something else. The source code's available, it has a license, it's open source. Um, that person in the comments, hi. So we're gonna dive into it. We're gonna talk about a couple of new things out there and talk about what's working now that wasn't working before. There's at least a couple things I wanted to mention. If you can click the like button and first, if you'd like to learn more about me or my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you'd like to hire a short project, there's a hires button right at the top. If you'd like to help keep this channel sponsor free and thank you to everyone who already has, there is a join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page. Your support is greatly appreciated. If you're looking for deals or discounts on products and services we offer on this channel, check out the affiliate links down below. They're in the description of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store. We have a wide variety of shirts that we sell and new designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics you've seen on this channel. Now back to our content. So here's the official blog post from IX Systems. TrueNAS Core RC1 was released yesterday and it's TrueNAS Core is ready for deployment. It's the merger of FreeNAS and TrueNAS. The unified storage system now begins for mainstream use. And I feel really comfortable, especially with home users and whatnot, if, or enthusiasts, um, really running the release candidate, I don't think it's a big deal. For our production environment, yeah, we're gonna wait for our clients, I should say, uh, to get all the way to the full version before we decide to deploy it. We're not having any problems with the other one, but hey, we're talking about clients, um, you wanna keep them happy, and unless you have a need for some of the cutting edge performance features, which are pretty outstanding, I'll leave a link to this here, um, it's better to go slow, you know, I will admit that. But overall, my testing since the beta has gone really well, and one of the things they've introduced here that I really like that you may or may not know, but Z standard compression is really fast and a great add-on. Um, and it also comes from Facebook. That's the part that not everybody's aware of is actually as much as you may dislike Facebook and I'll probably agree with you. I will also tell you that they actually at the core of their business when they're not sucking up all your data, they do some open source contributions back. And one of them that they gave back is uh, their Z standard compression. Um, when you have a company the scale of Facebook, you have interesting problems to solve and compression being one of them to store all that data they slurp up about us. Um, but they open source a lot of the things and give back. So that's actually kind of a cool thing that that's in there if you're not familiar with Z standard. Uh, you can check it out, it's pretty cool. Enclosure management for the minis. I have a FreeNAS Mini X Plus provided by iX Systems for review uh, sitting next to me. And the enclosures are now working. And we'll talk about that. So if we go here and go to the system, enclosures, and we can see that they're all online. And we're gonna go here and just, uh, yeah, let's take this drive out and uh, go over to the enclosures. Now the page doesn't auto refresh. You do have to refresh the page. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, refresh it here. And we do see one of the drives is empty. Now, I don't have this thing set up to set an alerts directly to me um, right now because it's still just in demo mode, but this was not working when I did the review. So for those of you wondering um, if that's working now, now that it's in release candidate, this is one of the bugs that was uh, fixed. And I guess it did work for some people, didn't work for everyone. I had a conversation with the engineers because uh, I contacted them about that. And uh, so that problem has definitively been solved and just pop the drive back in. I can refresh the page again. Well, now it's giving me alert that the drive was sort of degraded. Yeah, 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 we know it's degraded and now it's going to rebuild. Refresh the page again. Matter of fact, it's it'll probably be out of degraded state already as soon as we go over here to the pools because the drive wasn't, there's not much data being written to it right now. Yep, back online, it'll correct any errors from the random missing drive that Tom pulled out. So 
Going further down, True, Man, True Command Cloud Connections. Now, I have not dove into the True Command, but this is another enhanced service that they're offering. And it's gonna be a software as a service that they are selling to give you large scale management of many NASAs at many locations. I like this feature. Um, it's gonna have WireGuard VPN integrated into it. So it's uh, pretty cool that they've got um, this whole system. So if you're, especially like an IT company like us and you're monitoring servers for other companies, and you're looking for a central way to do it, this is a way to do it. We even work with and have done some consulting and talk to companies that have data centers in, in the plural, like they got different locations. So this is a welcome to where they're storing massive amounts on these stacks and being able to have True Command look at all of them. They're really looking at it as an interesting product. So that's definitely uh, something I will be diving into soon, but no, I don't have a video on that yet. Now, the nightly beta, beta 2 release and update stages for FreeNAS have gone through. There's a TrueNAS subform in the community forums for the unification process and community feedback. This is something I really like about Access Systems. They really have uh, done a great job of listening to their audience and listening to people on building all of this. And this is something that they've been able to do even better since the merger of the two code bases. So with TrueNAS and FreeNAS becoming one because they used to have two products that shared pretty much all the same source code and all the same documentation, that means they always had to push documentation over to two sides and push source code to two different sides to compile two different platforms. Now that they're doing it all in one, it's just a lot easier, which also seems to enhance their ability to engage the community because now they have a dev team working on a single thing. You don't have, you know, the team kind of jumping back and forth, maintaining two things going, I know, copy the code over here, paste it over here, copy this over here. Well, there's a slight difference when we implemented it here. So copy it, but modify these things. You can see that can be some tedium. Now that it's one, it's getting you know, one solid code base is much easier to do. So I am looking forward to uh, probably switching everything that we have here to the RC1 for any further testing. So I make sure I'm very familiar with it. I will be, RC1 is feature stable enough, I should say, um, that I will be doing some updated getting started videos. And uh, it's kind of fun. They produce a new opportunity for me because now I have to say true NAS a whole lot of times in a video and talk about getting started with TrueNAS. Now we've tested this on not just this uh, FreeNAS Mini X here, which of course by X systems, you're expecting it to run right. I also have my um, Super Micro system. It's an older one, I don't remember the model off the top of my head, but it's just a uh, older Xeon E5-2620 with a couple LSI cards in there. And this has been going through the betas. This is now going through um, the release candidate now, or as you can see right here, and platform generic, because it's just a generic super micro board. And this has survived all the updates. By the way, this started as a free NAS, so it has seen all the updates and iterations in between and brought the pool along for the ride. So I didn't dump all the data and rebuild this. And the replication tasks I'll mention, for those of you that may have mixed environments like I do, where you have more than one of them, if you go over here and let's look at the replication tasks, you can see that they're working. Where are they going? To this machine over here. So this is the machine they're going to running FreeNAS, by the way. And this is an even older machine, but still has plenty of storage in it. It's still um, yeah, a few terabytes of storage, so it's good enough for backing up the stuff that we have here at the office. And same answer. You go here to tasks, look at replication tasks, and it's crossed over. So I have some replication pushing one way from this to that. Um, so now I have FreeNAS here playing with my TrueNAS system and replicating data back and forth between them. And that has gone really well. That's actually a nice thing is even though this is running an older version, it's still cross compatible. So if you have a couple devices that you're backing up to um, for cross, you know, this, which is a great strategy, by the way, take one FreeNAS replicated to another free NAS or true NAS. You can test the beta without breaking that in case anyone's wondering. Um, but I'm going to probably go ahead and update even that free NAS there up to the release candidate and go from there. So my overall impressions, I've been really happy with it. It's been solid. It's been reliable. But, you know, free NAS has always been that way. True NAS is just an extension of that. And I like the play on words that I'll leave you with that I've seen in the forum post there. It is still the best free NAS system that they have out there. So it is still 100% free. That's not changing. It's still open source to fight what someone will say in the comments. And thanks. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content from the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon if you like YouTube to notify you when new videos come out. If you'd like to hire us, head over to lawrencesystems.com, fill out our contact page, and let us know what we can help you with and what projects you'd like us to work together on. 
If you want to carry on the discussion, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can carry on the discussion about this video, other videos, or other tech topics in general, even suggestions for new videos. They're accepted right there on our forums, which are free. Also, if you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, head over to our affiliate page. We have a lot of great tech offers for you. And once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.